Roll Call 209 here, and we have, I guess it's an unbagging at this point. But, uh, full disclosure, I was uh, <laughs> approached by the the Chinese jigglers, uh, the, the people that uh, sell their souls to for people to review products. So, uh, I didn't buy this. This was given to me for a review uh, for the Amazons. So, we're going to get in here. He said it was a holster. And then I looked at it, and I said, oh, I said, yeah, and I should have waited until he sent me the damn picture. But I'm a man of my word, and we're going to review this. Not only here on the YouTube channel, but on Amazon. So, here we go. It's all right. Tear this out of the bag here. Put it over here. So, <laughs> oh man. So this is a shoulder holster I have to put together. Well, let me find a gun to put in here. <laughs> so. He gave me a list of guns that fit in here. And a lot of the lists of guns he gave me, I had sold those guns or traded them or did something with them. But he said a Glock 19. Well, I don't have a Glock 19. I have a 26 and a 43. But here's my FNN, and uh, FNS 9mm. So we're going to stick it in this holster and see if it works. Uh, so we're going to open this up. What is in there? What is that? What the Oh my god, that should be in there, especially if you're going to put a gun in here. There. Oh, so, this gun does fit in here. Uh, so, looking at the holster, this is not top quality, first of all. Uh, it's Velcroed. Uh, I don't have any directions on what to do, because I don't wear shoulder holsters. Uh, but, uh, this is pretty ugly. Is shit. Um, this feels like pleather. It doesn't feel like leather. That's padded, so that might not be too bad. Comes with two mag pouches here that are uh, Velcro. Let's see if this will fit in there. Yeah, that'll fit in there. So you can put your magazines in there. It's got all these connector duties, doodads. I'm gonna have to figure out. Again, I don't wear shoulder holsters. I, I, don't quite care for them and again i don't know how <laughs> this works i wish it was put together already that way i mean taking taking things apart when they're already there is better for me than putting things together i'm not mechanically inclined to the point <laughs> that uh, other people are in society um but it should be like legos or something uh, <laughs> I don't know, is that the front or is that the back? <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I, I, there's an extra strap here. I have no idea how <laughs> to put this together. I, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'll have to look online. Again, this is made in the China land, as you can see there, made in China. Uh, shoulder holster, uh, 1911 9mm Glock 17, Glock 19. Uh, but this is an FNS 9 that fits in there, so you could put that in there. So there's a little bit of useful information for you if you buy this thing off of Amazon. Uh, again, I didn't pay for this. They did. Uh, they basically paid me to review this and told me I could have this product. I don't have to ship it back. So there, that's a plus in itself. Uh, I don't normally do these reviews. I I did one on some uh, Fiaci Fiducci sites, and they were horrible sites that I put on my Glock 19 when I had it. Uh, and this is just this looks like a nightmare to do. Uh, we'll have a an in depth review. This is just the unboxing of this monstrosity of a. Oh my God! I mean. The stitching is horrible. If you can see it there, the stitching is horrible throughout this entire that's elastic entire rig. I mean, I mean they just riveted this stuff together for shits and giggles, I guess. I mean, that's probably going to wear out. I mean, 
Ah, dude. At least they double stitched that. Um, let's look at the stitching over here. Uh, yeah. That's decent. I took sewing for three semesters, so I know a tad bit of how to sew. That's not horrible. I, c I bet you I could do a better job. But, again, let me look at the mag pouch. On the back, look at that. That's pretty ugly. It's a big wad of stitching there. I, and again, you gotta, Chinamen, you gotta remember, you gotta put mags in here. So, look at that. See how it creases like that? That's pretty, that means that your stitching here on the end was horrible. Pretty bad. Haha. <laughs> It doesn't quite, well, and, uh, well, see, see how much more room you got there for the Velcro, and the Velcro's just peeling off, so, I mean, it is what it is. There's some, a little bit of stitching inside there, but some of this quality, it's, it's not, quality's not there, I'll tell you that right now, quality's not there, uh, for the most part, and again, I don't know how this quite works. Again, I guess that would probably... Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't know how this would go. This has to go somewhere. I'm figuring it has to go like this. Jesus. Or, I don't know. That in there like that. And these are plastic, so that's horrible in itself. Like that. No, maybe the other side, since I'm right-handed, huh? Didn't it go like this? Or why is there <laughs> two buckles? I don't. Again, I don't wear these fucking things for this specific reason. I don't. I don't know how this thing goes. So this is the unboxing of this Amazon product. Oh, I don't know. I it says it's new. Uh, they should go back to the drawing board. Uh, but we'll we'll review it. I'll put it on. We'll go outside. We'll shoot with it on after I figure out how to put it together. And if you're like, oh, you're you're not so tactically cool that you can't wear a shoulder holster, put one. To, no, I don't. I wear an inside the waistband uh, bullseye holster, and I wear uh, credible holsters, not from uh, China. So if I was going to get a shoulder holster, I sure in the hell wouldn't buy one from. Uh, the Chinese, but <laughs> I don't know how that works. So there's that um, bagging of something that I'm really not going to recommend on Amazon. So catch you on the next one.